Oh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing this morning? Are you doing wine? Are you doing... Wait, wait. Are you doing well? Are you feeling well? I am feeling well. My feet are swollen. My feet are swollen up. They're, they're little fat little toe knuckles are very difficult. Let me show you my fat toe knuckle. I've got fat toe knuckle. I can't even, can't make a fist of my foot like a chimp. Why would you need to make a fist of your foot? Shut your mouth. I like to punch kick sometimes with my feet. Like a baby kicking you in the, in the, in his little toddler seat. Kicking you in his fucking little fat foot. Fat little baby feet. Oh, I'm sorry. You were a spider. I don't traditionally kill spiders. I mistook you for a another bug. Oh, well. Shit happens. Spiders eat all the other bugs, so I let them make it. I've got another... Um, wave of fresh baby bugs coming out because they hide in the microwave. I'm thinking about taking the microwave outside. Taking the microwave outside so that uh, they, when they come out looking for food, they'll find that they're outside and there will be no food. Outside, I will clean it so they can't eat from it. Maybe put it on the uh, table on the porch. They like to hide. The last foggers I got, they don't work very good. And since I had used them before and they didn't work very good, I didn't, I didn't let them go the whole four hours. I didn't have time for that. I think I let them go about two. Something like that. Came back in here and aired everything out. They were stunted. Then I just destroyed them. And that felt good. It felt good to me to destroy them. To crush them under my boot. I had this dream last night about being in, being on a tugboat. I used to work on tugboats and so did my dad when I was young. Younger. Right here below me, I'll put, or maybe it'll be over my face. This is the actual boat that I worked on. I looked it up. It is the it is the boat. It is the exact same boat. It's everything that it had on it. And it had a different name at the time. Its name was Alyssa. It says on here that its name is Caudle. But that is the exact same boat, the exact same company when I looked it up. They took me to the boat, so it was very interesting working on that boat. That was the last boat I worked on. So I just thought I would include it, see if I could find it. And it was exciting. You make a lot of money. You go out for about a week, live on the boat. It's actually, it's actually two weeks. Oh, you work two weeks on the boat. And then you come on, you come off, and you have a whole week off before you have to go back. And it's an interesting schedule to work on. And uh, excuse me, I was trying to escape the boat. We were somewhere in India, and I just remember any time you pulled up to one of the docks, they all looked the same. They all have the bright lights and the chemical stuff. People walk around in the hazmat-ish style suit. They weren't in hazmat suits, but they were close enough to them. And um, I couldn't leave. I saw one of my co co-workers, one of the deckhands, was he was sitting in the front of a car 
and he had a big ass needle filled with blood and he was shoving it into his hand and he like got up and he was like <sighs> and I was like I don't want to be here I don't I don't want to be here I don't want to be here anymore I would like I would like to leave I want to go somewhere else I don't want to have anything to do with this I don't want to have anything to do with it and I couldn't and something was playing talking about economics and we were all sitting in the um minus the captain whoever was piloting the boat we're all sitting in the galley talking about the economy. The galley's like the kitchen of the boat, in case you didn't know. It's a very interesting lifestyle. A very interesting lifestyle. I swear that on one of these boats that I worked on, I worked with Neelix. There was a guy that looks just like the actor that plays Neelix. And one time there was a, um, I took my guitar on there and, uh, the boat almost began to sink. We had taken in heavy water from, I don't know, maybe they got one of the, uh, I don't know exactly how, how it happened. I think we brushed against something and it scraped the hole and it filled the void tanks with, um, with water and we were like I woke up out of my bed the bunk and I rolled up the wall and I was like this isn't right and I ran out there to see what was going on and I'm in my underwear and I'm, I'm helping hook the jigger hose up to pump water out because that's what you got to do it's basically some sort of like uh a generator with valves on it you can hook these hoses up that are real easy and simple to hook up run them in there and then run the outlet and you crank this generator and it starts pumping water out you've got to have something like that on a tugboat you've got to have it my dad's been in there and had to swim down into the engine room to get something or whatever it was very exciting times I was working with this coon ass kid younger than me and when I saw him I didn't understand anything he said he was like hush out him I was like dude I don't understand you do you understand me yeah what's on hey yeah I was like what could you stop talking like that can you talk normal can you slow down what the fuck you're saying cuz I don't I can't understand you well he got his bags and he was taken off he was he was on the bank and he was ready to leave I just saw him and his him and his two suitcases just leaving. He was out of there because the boat nearly sank. It's not the trip that you want to be on. You know, we were rescued, but I mean, our boat was going under, and it was going under fast. And he was scared. So was I. But he pushed out. He pushed out. Ran off. And then I had to work. I was having to train this guy. Which is bad enough. Because I couldn't understand him. He didn't know what to do. And then when he left. I had to cover all his shifts. Because they didn't have anybody. To be the deckhand on the other watch. You know. You work 12 hours on. And then you get the next 12 hours off. So, it would have been nice. I mean, I was out of there. By the end of it, I was so hallucinatory, high, lack of sleep, that I was in some shit. But when I work and when I do my jobs, I normally can cut through it. I don't always like it, but I mean, I can manage through it. So, I was in that same situation in the dream. And it was very awkward because um, I was trying to leave the boat. I was like, I don't, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this job. And I couldn't leave. It was no, there was no escape here. And I wonder if that's because I don't have my bed hooked up to the dream machine right now. Currently, I don't have my grounding wire. I've got my, 
I've got my grounding wire hooked to some sort of antenna that is uh, electrostatic in my room area because the dream quality was very realistic in life life. I even didn't have shoes on the boat and I was like, how are they letting me get away with this? I look like a I look like a country bumpkin. All the places we went to had these giant metal fences. They had lights shining in on the boats. And they had like, you know, very like, almost like prison towers or something. And there, so it was, it was very disturbing, but it was quite, it was quite interesting as well. I don't, I don't quite know what to think about it, but I wanted to share this dream. I had another video that I made on the other device and. I've got some good ideas for some funny videos, but it's telling me right now that my my uh, hologram app isn't talking to the Play Store, which perplexes me. I don't know why that is. And I need it to download the Lava Baron because he's a featured character in this idea of a skit that I have. So... But I, I also like the idea that I can use the AI art... I can ask it something and make images and I can just put those images up one at a time and have a plague doctor, architect, or his husband Edward flying around through the clouds. I like the way it looks with adding the vocals. I like making funny stuff because I like to laugh. I love laughter. But I had some funny ideas I wanted to add to it and... So that should be coming up pretty soon. Today's Friday. It's a pretty good day. It's payday, but I don't get to go anywhere. I might have to order some food. I went to get some weenies this morning. And the hot dog weenies that I had were green. They were green. I got them at the corner store. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I ate these donuts yesterday. I made a... I made a special request to stop at the donut place because it's been a long time since I've had any donuts and these were not all that bad, but still haven't found what I'm looking for. You know what I really like? I really like McDonald's breakfast. We had some of that. We stopped by and got some sausage biscuits. I will not eat anything else from McDonald's and even this I wonder if it's a good idea or not but I eat the sausage biscuit yesterday and a chicken biscuit and I, I very much like it I very much like it I don't know what I should eat for my health I could lose some weight if I were to maybe pay attention to the carbs and stuff but I don't, I don't, I don't have the motivation to do that. I'd like to eat what I'd like to eat like a, like a monster. I like to do that. You know, I need a, I need a woman in my life to, to, uh, make those sort of changes. So I'm going to cut off some, shave off some gut or get some good cardio in. I'd like a lady for that. That's all I'm saying. Have a nice day.